difficult opening couple of minutes for the American teenager from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Anthony Thompson. He's been training with uh, quite a few professional boxers, as, well, most American amateurs have been doing for years. Interestingly, this year, that the uh, Irish Council or the Irish uh, Amateur Boxing Association allowed some of the Irish guys to work with professionals. I can see nothing wrong with that. Can you, Wayne? That's good. I work, since I was a kid, I used to work with, like, Dave McCauley and Paul Hagginson. Did me no harm, you know, going on to become world champion. In America, they're working with pros and amateurs in the gym. They're always together. All the gyms are pro amps. Well, it's been a good uh, opening 30 seconds for Thompson because he's closed the gap. And then almost immediately, Aragon picks it up again. Thompson's tucked up well in this round. And he's stepping in with a short left hook and a right hand behind it. So they'll score one of them shots and keeps doing this and he will close the gap and in with a chance. And a very good quarter final, Thompson defeated the Olympic bronze medalist Vitaly Grusak from uh, Moldova. And he's keeping very much in touch. And I think... Lorenzo Aragon is going to have to work very hard for his gold medal here because Thompson is not going to go away. It, Thompson's pushed him right under the ropes, not giving him that much room to move, but aragon he's got good free work, so he's sort of staying out of trouble. He's got a good lead here, and, he, and he, he can hold on to the lead if he sticks out the jab and moves. But Thompson, you know, he's digging deep, and he, he can win this fight. Well, 12-5 now to Aragon, coming up to the last 30 seconds of the second round. Thompson is not trying anything too flashy. He's being fairly conservative. He's just trying to land punches. You know, he's a bit stiff there, and he, he's sort of not letting the punches go off as, he, as good as he can. But that's what he needs to do. He's four and fives. And his defense in this round has been pretty good. Aragon's had to work very hard and deep. He's uh, picked up five more points, the Cuban, conceded three to the American. And Thompson trying to work hard inside, but Aragon, wily old competitor that he is, is using all the tricks to tie up the younger American. Good finish by Aragon, but a great piece of defensive blocking by Thompson. Now, there's a wee bit of a bounce in the step of Thompson. He looks a lot more confident, Wayne, after that round than he did after the first. Yeah, he's not that far behind. You know, he can still catch. He's got two more rounds. Thompson, you know, he can still win this fight. He knows it, but he needs to step the pace up to win it. You know, there's, he has to go out there and throw bunches of punches to score at least a couple of shots. Well, it was a better round for Thompson. Uh, he did lose that round, but only by uh, five points to four. And uh, really put on the pressure on the Cuban. Yeah, the Cuban landed a good jab, jab, and then he threw a right hand, landed clean. But that was a good round, but that's that's a computer scoring for you, you know. On the old scoring, you probably would have given it to Thompson. Well, Thompson moving very nicely. He's not allowing the Cuban to get away from him. He's trying to cut off the retreat exits for the Cuban. And Anthony Thompson, just 19 years old, remember, has got here the only American to get to a final in Belfast 2001. Okay, baby. Midway stage of this 67 kilogram final. Cuba 13, America 7, and Anthony Thompson came on very strong in that second round. And I think he's going to up the pace, and this is going to bring the best out of the Cuban. Definitely. Thompson came out this round. He knows he needs to get a few more points to close the gap. You know, Aragon's getting a bit tired here, which is unusual for a Cuban. But Thompson's making the Cuban fight every minute of every round. Well, Aragon has come through winning three of his four contests on the way to this final uh, with uh, stoppages. Very impressive he's been, but he's being made to work very hard by Thompson, who's a very strong kid, just 19 years old. And it's going to be very difficult for American amateur boxing to keep this fellow out of the professional ranks. Oh, yeah, he'll be. You know, the contracts are weird in front of him, and the dollars are flat. Well, he should wait. He's a young kid, and think what he's going to be like in a couple of years. Cuban corner being a little bit on the noisy side and Thompson is uh, more than keeping in touch there's only six points between them at the midway point in this penultimate round this has been another good performance by the uh, American youngster he's picked up another four points and he's conceded only three so Thompson is actually shading this round Wayne McCullough yeah Thompson you know he's doing well in this round he, I think he should have got more points than he deserves in this round he threw a good, couple of good body shots but the points weren't going up but he, he's doing the right thing here he's pushing the Cuban back making him breathe hard and this is what he needs to do, and he'll close the gap. And he's picked up another point with a very good right hand. Thompson now working to the body. Aragon responds immediately. Terrific right from the Cuban. That's opened up the gap again. They seem to be push, pushing the buttons a lot faster for the Cuban than they are for the American. You know, well, we're going to have a, a very, very thrilling last couple of minutes, and we're going to have a very thrilling last 20 seconds of this round, because the teenager from Philadelphia is pushing the eight times Cuban champion all the way. 
And that eight point gap really doesn't reflect the effort that Thompson has put in. Yeah, Oregon's moving around here. He's got his mouth open a bit. He's he's getting dead tired. You know, Thompson can keep this going in the last round. This fight could be interesting. That was a lovely right hand. Just uh, brought back the elbow and moved the punch about six or seven inches. Thompson's still there. Eight points between them. Aragon really had to pick up the pace in the second half of this round. And he just about got Thompson with a left hook to the chin just right at the end. And Aragon realises that he cannot afford to coast in this last round. That was a great round. You know, this last round is going to be unbelievable. Temp is going to come out. He knows he's well behind and he probably needs to knock this Cuban out. Well, the Cuban was losing the round and then he suddenly picked up a little bit and that was a good, good left of the body. What and the another one. Good Russian shot. He threw a right hand and he threw a left uppercut to the body. That was a good scoring kilos. shot. But Tamsin kept coming forward Alexander and... He should have scored more shots in the, you know, the computer box, and I don't, I don't agree with it, but they, they should have given more points. Well, Aragon knew that he was under a little bit of pressure. He had uh, started to fall a little bit behind in that round, if not overall, and put the foot on the gas and produced a very, very good last 30 seconds. And we're going to have a very good last couple of minutes. And this is going to be a cracker because across the ring from the Cuban, the American teenager is going to come out, as they say, smoking. He's going to come out with two guns blazing. You know, he's... He's going to push this Cuban right back. The Cuban is definitely breathing hard. And Thompson just needs to keep this going. And, you know, anything can happen. We haven't had a USA-Cuba final in this 67-kilogram division since 1986, when, when the championships were held in Reno, Nevada. Kenny Gould outpointed that great Cuban, Candelario de Virgil. The Cubans thought they may have got a dodgy decision. At the moment, there's nothing dodgy about it. We both feel here at ringside that the score might have been a lot closer, but Aragon has been doing enough all the way through. But this is going to be a huge test of his stamina. Definitely, Thompson's trying a little bit too hard and sort of missing with his punches. You know, he's closed the gap a little bit, but he needs to just keep the pressure on, work the body first, then go to the head. Well, he's winning this round by two computer scoring points to one, but the gap, unfortunately for the American, is still seven points. And they're both very tired. They're both very tired. They've got to be... You know, the last fight of the, of the week, they fought four or five times during the week. These guys are going to be sore for another month or so. Well, for both of them, this is the fifth contest in seven days, and that really is a punishing schedule. Oh, it definitely is. You know, if James Murray were to get through to the final, he would have fought six, but these guys fought five to get their final. You know, and they're fighting their hard. They're still fighting like it's the first fight. Well, Thompson is coming forward, and the American teenager deserves full credit. He's really doing his best against a man who on eight occasions has been the champion of Cuba. Once as good enough, but eight national titles? That's unbelievable. You know, winning the, winning the Cuban national title is like winning the Olympics. You know, there's so many good fighters in Cuba. This guy is definitely impressive. Good footwork by Aragon. He got in one no, very no. good shot, and he feels that that is good enough. And there's no doubt about it. He's been... The Thompson has been told off by the referee for doing a bit of pushing. Aragon now finishing the stronger. He's opened up a gap of 11 points. Thompson, to his great credit, has given it everything. And I think, Wayne McCulloch, you were quite, quite right when you said that James Moore took so much out of Thompson. He definitely did. You know, they fought, fought right to the end. You know, Thompson's fought a good fight here, but he just couldn't get the punches off as well as he did in, the, in his previous fights. Well, you can tell that it's, they're both very tired because it's all got rather untidy, but it's not going to matter because Lorenzo Aragon has followed in the footsteps of Emilio Correa and the great Juan Hernandez who won this title on four occasions and Cuba have world